All right, what's up, y'all? It's like a fan here. Today's video, we're going over the full attribute update. So what I'm talking about in this video, we're going first. I'm gonna show animations. So that's what I'll get to first, and I'll just talk about what I'm getting to as I as I go to that. But anyway, after that, I'm gonna show badge breakdown, the ratings, the height, the weight, all that stuff, the wingspan, everything. So real quick, first thing I want to talk about is dunks. So now don't sleep on this right here either. So. The reason I get this as a big man, we'll, we'll say, I don't know exactly what the title of this is going to be, whether it's like uh, best big man build, best slasher build, yada, yada. Anyway, regardless, um, I know a lot of you might be looking this up for like detailing how to build your big man. So understand when I say that you're obviously probably not going to get this Crawford layup. I understand that. But if you're starting from scratch and thinking like what big man build you want to make, I'm telling you, bro, six, nine, small forward slasher primary defender secondary now i'm like i said i'm gonna just go over all this and just get all get to all the details this right here is so key as far as finishing and you see i got a cold on the, on the left side don't don't even mind that that's just straight my career bs i'm gonna work on getting those hot but anyway um let's let's just stick to the topic here so you see all these crazy dunk packs on right and you're just probably thinking like yo this dude don't even know what he's talking about listen the more of these that you have, I swear it's on everything, the more dunks you actually do. So I'm a, I'll am get to some clips at the very end of this video in detail. Like I did I did three different sets of clips. I had just the Kill Ganon uh, dunk pack on with the Jamal Crawford layups. And I'll show you what type of dunk packages you were getting um, by like trying to finish. And then I also detailed when you have them all, like just crazy stuff. And then I also detailed... Now, for those of you balling on a budget here, I'm gonna start with like, I'm gonna start with like just what I have, and I'll get to some of you guys in specific in a sec. So I got Kill Ganon, Le LeBron, Blake Griffin, Kobe, Vince, Zach Levine, 360s. Um, definitely put these on the underbasket athletic flushes, and then we got Westbrook, uh, Glenn Robinson, MJ, Sean Kemp. Giannis, Daryl Dawkins, and then leaning windmills. <laughs> these is these are kind of nice too. Uh, so also with this build, you get every alley oop package. You get uh, three of the contact dunks, not the big man the contact dunks, however. So if that changes your opinion, listen, just probably go with probably if you really, really, really want to play it as like a big man, probably go with a power forward version of this build, and you'll still get the. I think pro and elite contact dunks, but you miss out on the small contact dunks. And these are actually real nice too. And on a 6'9 player, bro, they look so clean. Like you just, <laughs> like you're getting so much vert on them. But anyway, regardless, also what you get as well for being this build, you get all of the park alley oop dunks, which in my opinion is major, major as far as like, you know, the way I like to play, I like to run the pick and roll. If they hedge too hard, boom, you get easy lobs. Definitely take these park layups off, bro. There's some straight BS. <laughs> Not worth it at all. <laughs> I hate them so much. As soon as I unlock those, I had to take them off ASAP. Uh, dribble moves. Okay, we'll, we'll get to this. Size up pack is normal four. I love this. You can really play around with this quite a bit. Um, I'll show you how to detail this a little bit as well. Moving crossover and behind the back, normal three. Key component and basic spin one super slept on and you i guess what i'm saying super slept on by those of you who don't know how to work it um stizo and all the dribble gods <laughs> people be using this basic one like crazy but normal three moving hesitation uh probably the best one you can get as far as a step back just in general with these basic dribble moves and then wnba2 triple threat trust me i i feel like it's the perfect one but i don't even be using triple threat all that much uh so let's just get to this stuff. Free throw 55, I love it as well. Uh, hop jumper, normal 14. You're gonna see you can get these crazy like step backs like this. But again, a lot of this stuff you're not even gonna use. Me personally, I rock with 38 for my jump shot, but honestly, bro, I I haven't even, I can't give you my expertise on jump shots. I don't really know much. <laughs> and then dribble style power, uh, just kind of, as you can see, there's a lot of different things you can do. Magic was the only one who really like definitively does different things in this, in my opinion. But anyway, now, let's go ahead and get to the badges real quick. Actually, first of all, I'm going to show you the ratings. So keep in mind, my players are 99 overall. A lot of these ratings do get boosted a little bit. To get the Crawford layups, you have to hit 98. Remember that if you make this build. Uh, just keep that in mind. You don't unlock them until you hit 98 overall. So, like I said, just keep that in mind. That's my <laughs> that's my warranty. I'm going to put a timestamp on this just in case anybody wants to, <laughs> to argue that. Uh, driving dunk 91, standing dunk 92, great to have, 92 shot close as well, standing layups. Uh, what I did, I boosted my three-pointer all the way up, 
So I didn't touch anything else shooting. I probably, this is going to suck for like making like build tutorial videos. Just as far as like the fact that to de to make the full detail, I guess you guys can see all my ratings. Just take what I have and subtract by four. And that's the, the base rating you'll put your stuff to. Uh, so 60 ball control as you can see I'm pretty sure what I did I did one tick down from the win uh, max wingspan at six foot nine max weight I believe it was 260 I I'll get to all the details in a sec but put the steel to 60 62 yeah yeah with all the boosts and stuff as you can see when this build hits 99 like bro the the ratings get really filled out real nice like 90 interior defense 93 block 90 D board, 89 O board, you get 84 speed, 84 strength, 84 vert. Like, honestly, bro, I have no complaints at all. If, if I could change anything, I don't even know. Maybe I'll just get a little bit more steel. And <laughs> the way I play right now, bro, honestly, I wish I didn't even touch my three pointer. Uh, because honestly, to have the steel instead would actually be kind of nice. But regardless, I mean, I feel like eventually I'm gonna want this three point rating anyway so it is kind of essential to have but for real bro it'd be real nice to have this steel maxed but anyway now we'll get to the badges this right here is what i have on for 3v3 uh as well as actually just in general 2v2 also um apologize i actually said i was going to show you guys how to set up your uh dunk packs if you don't just want to go od and spend 50k on your dunks i'm gonna get to that real quick then i'll get back to the ratings and, and badges you can fast forward this if you would like uh, I'm just going to show you guys real quick how I would set this up if you want to be also this is kind of how like I would do for comp it's just I don't know to have to have only like a couple dunk packages on is kind of rough but regardless if if you're going to be trying to ball on a budget I would just say get all three of the under baskets uh, don't buy any like player dunk packs then I would also say get athletic front tomahawks this is the best tomahawk pack in my opinion and then I think it was quick drops. Uh, let me see. Yeah, quick drops off one. This is the best thing to do for conservative dunks. Like I'm talking, if you're on a fast break and you want to just make sure you put it in there as quick as possible and then just make sure you don't get blocked, definitely put on quick drops. And then also, I like I said, this is, all, this is for balling on a budget. So if you feel like baseline reverses aren't worth like buying for your player, don't really do it. But regardless, if you're going to get a baseline reverse, I would say off one. It's definitely the nice thing to have and then as far as maybe something that would fill your badges like if you want to if you want to get wild listen i'm telling you leaning windmills is real nice <laughs> like they, they go crazy bro like this is a good thing to have for like flashy dunks if you really want but regardless what i'm saying is and you'll see when you like load this up so all these under baskets obviously they work down low uh the quick drops you hold up on your right stick and then the leaning windmills you hold down and then on left or right the front tomahawks activate so it's a it's a real nice way to set up your badges it's real simple um i'll just leave it like this for sake of the time sake in the video but i'm definitely gonna change it back once i get to my once i get done with the video but um anyway so as far as finishing badges i get 20 of them uh lob city finisher if we're talking like what's most important to me i'd say contact finisher lob city finisher then consistent finisher and then i don't know after that it gets kind of touchy I, i've been debating taking giant slayer down a little bit just to like put it somewhere else but i really don't have anywhere else that i would like to have it i mean if i if i didn't run such strict pick and roll i'd probably do this if i were trying to utilize my slasher as an actual slasher i'd probably do this but then again i mean for finishing i don't know somebody told me not to have this on just because i'm six nine and like i think they said the best the best height like uh discrepancy you can have for this badge is that is i think six inches they said um so obviously what that pertains to is like me at six foot nine that deals with seven threes which honestly you see a lot of them <laughs> so really it's nice to have this but anyway let's just uh oh i'm missing one badge what the heck did i take off oh yeah it was uh what did i take off i guess we'll find out <laughs> oh it was okay fancy footwork uh but yeah so regardless and then yo for 2v2 bro i need to make a video on this badge asap but flashy passer dog in 2v2 i have nothing better to put it on honestly because in threes this is what i'll have i usually have break starter and then downhill on bronze um honestly if i could go back i would say i would like to have a couple more playmaking badges too so really if i could change anything about my build i would say <laughs> i mean but like i said this is right now but i feel like i can eventually shoot in this game decently just with like putting some more time into it and getting the hot zones and stuff but 
at this very moment, if I could change anything, I would take my three pointer down and either put it towards steel, get like one or two extra defensive badges, or I would just put more into my post moves so I can get more playmaking badges. But anyway, this is what I do for 3v3. Obviously for 2v2, there's no such thing as transition speed and there's no such thing as outlet passes. So again, flashy passer is a real nice badge to have. Like bro, if you get like a really easy spot where you can just like make sure you're like for sure that you're going to be able to pass your teammate and get an assist. This is the move. I'm telling you, you get so you get so much takeover progress for completing a flashy pass assist and your teammate gets the takeover progress too i'm telling you big put your guards onto this badge if you haven't yet especially for 3v3 where you could dot the corner a little more because honestly it's kind of tough to thread the needle uh which obviously is what this badge will do as well but anyway regardless uh and i think for twos i have it like this pretty sure that's what i have it set up to but um for trying to hit your big on a roll it is kind of tough because a lot of it needs like the high pass or lob pass so just keep that in mind but as far as 2v2 and just as a guard on 3v3 i think this badge is real slept on but anyway defensively i have box brick wall intimidator pogo stick high key high key a huge badge and then rebound chaser on hall of fame and then i have rim protector on bronze all i really have this on for is to be able to get snatch blocks i feel like really these are the two badges that matter intimidator and pogo stick uh i saw some stuff with lightning reflexes and yo i got a crazy like big video tomorrow that i'm gonna post and if you're watching this in the future just look for things nobody wants you to know on defense eventually uh i'm telling you bro <laughs> like I i'm so looking forward to this video because there's so much stuff i'm gonna be detailing like this right here real important and uh also to deal with the pogo stick i'm gonna show you guys a lot of that stuff but anyway regardless this is how my badge is set up really I, it doesn't change much between uh 2v2 and 3v3 for pro-am however uh this is what i got it on so i gotta take the hit somewhere because i feel like tireless defender is a must to have and honestly really okay so this is this is what i do so i go with gold intimidator gold pogo stick really i'm I'm gonna this is like an in the moment like decision that I have made though is I need to do this because for real bro like it just impacts so much of the game when you can do this now my initial thought and maybe I will even do this as well for Pro-Am I don't know I'm still in flux testing testing some badges out I've only played like 12 games in Pro-Am and obviously if what if something's working well I'm not gonna change it <laughs> too much but anyway regardless here's how I feel about Pogo Stick and Pro-Am it's so necessary as an interior defense badge and it lets you really like play a lot harder on the hedge defense as well and really i would like to have some interceptor too i'm telling you bro i just wish i had more defensive badges <laughs> but anyway uh it makes it real nice to play hedge defense because you can help out really hard and then still like really try to jump for the block and then you can still jump again because they think that you're like dead in the water once you already jump once like that but also like i said for interior defense, it's so game changing because you can just boom, 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 just jump straight up, like constantly keep going up and keep in mind, you have to do the vertical contest to do that. You hold your left stick toward the hoop or AKA away from your defender. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, that's about everything for the, for the build. I'll get to the real quick, like specific specifics. And then also I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. So also, like I said, I'm, I'm going to work on that hot zone. I'm telling you, bro, that's actually like high key making me mad <laughs> that I don't have all three of those hot zones in the, in the paint. And I feel like I'm really like not doing a disservice to my player by not having those. But anyway, uh, the specifics, I don't even know why I'm looking for something in general. I have a 6'9", 260, one tick down from the minimum wingspan, which puts you at 60 ball control. And that's the build. So anyway, like I said, I'm going I'm to real quick show you guys some of the captures that I had. Uh, if you and if you don't really care to see this, I do appreciate you watching. If you want to feel free to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Maybe check out some other videos. Uh, if you're already subscribed and you want to turn on notifications, feel free to as well. I don't know why this is taking so long, but <laughs> really, okay. So what I'm detailing here is, and maybe I'll skip this if it takes. Too. All right, yeah, bro, I just skipped. So anyway, here we are on the on the clips now. So. Right here, I'm just showing you what happens when you only have the kill gun and dunk packages on. Like, for instance, you see me trying to do these hop dunks, and I literally, the game realizes I just don't have enough animations to truly dunk the ball. Like, uh, this is why I, 
I suggest to to get as many dunk packages as you can. Because as you can see, it's very lax on like the amount of dunks I get in general. I didn't really show what it hap what happens if I just hold like down on the stick, but again, you see like and it goes wild when it does. But it's just so inconsistent that I just I really just dis <coughs> dislike having my badges or not my badges, my dunk packs so specific. But anyway, um. Let me see if this takes too long to load, bro. I swear to God. But anyway, I'll, I'll just skip again. All right, so now I'm showing you what happened when I put like just straight like everybody's dunk packs on. So I had the Blake, I had the LeBron, I already had the Kilgannon, as you could see from the clip before, Vince Carter, Zach Levine. Anyway, you get the point. I'm, I'm gonna just skip to the point where I was actually dunking. So I put all these all these animations on, and then boom, like I'm out here just like again. I feel like the game. It only has a set amount of spots that you can dunk from when you only have one dunk package on. So the more you have, the better in my opinion. That's just that's just how I feel. Now, if you want to be real, like specific with it, bro, I've seen my dude do 360s out these hop dunks before. And it's just a crazy thing to see, bro. <laughs> like, your dude will go with the Crawford layup. He'll do like a little bounce, 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 and then go straight up in the air, just 360. Like, I just don't understand how that's even physically possible. But anyway... That's all for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, all that good stuff. Uh, and like I said, if you, if you want to turn on notifications, feel free to. But other than that, hey, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Feel free to drop a like. <laughs> Take it easy, man. Peace.